For the past several months, a lot of information related to COVID-19 has been in the media. This includes new infections, mutations, vaccines, but some information that has been lacking is related to long COVID or individuals who still suffer the symptoms from their infection long after the virus has left their body. And today I wanna to break down some of the components of long COVID, primarily from a research article in The Lancet to make you aware of this debilitating disease. Now I'll post the link to that article in the description below, as well as with links to some support groups for individuals suffering from long COVID. Now, typically when an individual is infected with SARS-CoV-2, after around 14 days, that individual will begin to feel better. But that's not the case for all people. Between 10 to 30% of all individuals infected with SARS-CoV-2 do not get better after around 14 days. And this can develop into long COVID as defined when individual symptoms persist for more than 28 days. And in the Lancet article, it took more than 91% of the individuals more than 35 weeks to begin to have some alleviation of the symptoms related to long COVID. But for some individuals, that alleviation never came. Now from those who were infected, more than half of them required hospitalizations during their initial SARS-CoV-2 infection, and more than a fourth of them had to leave their job or find a new job due to this new debilitating illness, therefore decreasing the amount of money that they brought in, affecting themselves, their family, and their livelihoods. And some of the symptoms related to long COVID include fatigue or heart palpitations, diarrhea and chest pain, impaired vision, insomnia, mood disorders, and impaired memory. But these are not all of the symptoms, as the Lancet article described more than 200 symptoms that individuals can experience during long COVID, and these are just some of the most common. Now, just because an individual didn't have a positive SARS-CoV-2 infection in the past doesn't mean that they can't have experienced or did not experience long COVID. As in the beginning of this pandemic, tests were difficult to find and they were saved for individuals who were battling COVID-19 on the front lines. So someone who is suffering from long COVID may not have ever known that they had a positive SARS-CoV-2 infection in the past either. But there is some good news. In the US, more than $1 billion has been invested over the next four years to research long COVID, the molecular pathways involved in this disease, as well as treatments that can help alleviate the symptoms for the individuals who are suffering from it. But some of the easiest things we can do to avoid getting long COVID are to mask and distance, follow the protocols that are in your area, be vaccinated to help prevent the further spread of this virus. And that way we can stop ourselves as well as the people we care about from being infected and potentially experiencing long COVID and the debilitating symptoms that occur with it.